Hey guys, it's Nutcase, and today's video we're taking a look at a sketchbook 33. Uh, I thought I'd have this sketchbook done way sooner, but this year has been kind of crazy for me. Um, I haven't been sketching a lot, which is weird for me, but I think that's going to change towards the end of the year. I'm taking a uh, almost a whole month off the internet, and when I do that, uh, I'm, I plan on doing a lot of sketching and stuff, so who knows, maybe I'll have a full sketchbook by, before the end of the year from now, from like here to then. But uh, let's have a look-see, why don't we? So uh, I had initially started this as a bullet journal, and I had made this little pocket here with some cute uh, baggie that I had gotten, but I ended up sealing it off with the sticker just so uh, I wouldn't have a baggy flap right here anymore. But as you can see, I started this March 13th of this year and finished it uh, September 16th. And yeah, <laughs> I tried to do color throughout the whole book. That was like the plan because this paper could take it. But that means that only one side of the page was used most of the time. And some of the times it wasn't even a sketch like, you, you guys will see. But, uh, so here we have the first one. Uh, I mostly used my Ohuu markers in here just to be using them. Um, but you'll notice that, like, I was numbering them, I was dating them, but so, uh, I knew when I drew them and whatnot. But I was trying to be a little looser with my colors and just, like, my drawings in general. So I was just trying to have fun while still trying to create, like, finished pieces. I like this one. It turned out really cute. Uh, a couple of these I did do on a stream at one point, but I never did a traditional stream after that, so that was about it. This is what I was talking about, like where it's very loose sketches, but still coloring them, trying to do something with them. I like how the slams were coming out. Like I really like how this paper takes layered markers and makes it look really interesting. There's like an interesting texture on it. I think this is one of the ones I really liked how it turned out. Um, I love how the skin tone looks, but the eye over here is too small. But I was just trying to continue on. This was also something where I had tried to do a uh, red sketch, a uh, red pencil sketch, and then just color over it. And yeah, it still looks like sketchy, but I think it looks good. Um, and then I was doing some more of the sketching with colors without erasing. So I did some Japanese sweets, mochi, dango, and daifuku. Uh, this one I was especially proud of. I actually posted this on Instagram. I think it's just really cute. So even though there's like a smudge and stuff on it, but whatever. And then here's some more just sketching and then coloring without inking. I really like how this one came out. He's just such a cute little chubby kitsun. And this was something that I was trying where um, I sketched lightly with a color and then I used a sharpie to do the colored lines. And then I did my uh, brush pen on top of that to kind of define it. And I did two of those. I actually really like how this one turned out. It feels a little busy, like, now, but, like, if I hadn't done the background, I think this would, like, I would have really liked this piece even now. But I think this one turned out really good. I think it's one of the few fan arts that I have in here, too. Um, oh no, I say that, and I did a chomper. There you go. I don't know why I drew chomper, but I did. Um, I really like the hand and face interaction in this. I also like the slight hint at a background in this one. I was really trying to do something. Yeah, that was just an elf lady. Uh, here's some more light sketch and then just directly going over it. I used a red brush pen for this. So seeing how that reacted to it. I liked actually how the background came out. I really like how they use uh, the pale pink with like this really light blue layered over it looks. I would do that again for something. I really like that. Um, yeah, and like I wrote up there, I wasn't feeling this one, so I stopped. Uh, this is me drawing a character that 
I have a character sheet up for, but like, not like I haven't been playing her yet. And then I did this for a uh, thing on Twitter, where it was like, uh, draw an animal in a sweater. I really like how this one turned out. It looks like one of the more finished pieces in my sketchbook. Uh, and this is just another sketch and then color with no ink in between. Uh, okay, so I think this is where we get to yeah, the uh, stream one. So I did a few of these on stream. Uh, I'm not super happy with the end result on this one. I just, I can never draw what I think the soot spirits like really look like, but I tried. <laughs> so there we go. That was a request from stream. And then I did a uh, pouring from memory. I don't know if this is actually what it looks like, but uh, I, again, I really liked how the slimes were turning out because again, the texture of the overlaying colors in this book. So, and then uh, I drew a Taiyaki. I really like the background on this. This is when I started doing more overlapping of colors. Um, I've been doing it in my work a lot more lately and I just really like how it looks. And then I did a random shape challenge where I just did like blotches. I ended up not doing anything with this one, but you know, I think like these are the only four that like actually had anything of actual substance where I was just making shapes with this one. I don't know. Uh, I drew a Kappa. I really, this one was a kind of like a test of like a new style. I just like a sharper style. I really like how the background lines turned out. <laughs> um, this was another Kitsune mask. I was trying the red brush pen with the blue brush pen to see with colors, uh, with markers to see if it would work. And it seemed to work pretty well. Um, this has turned colors because it used to be brighter than this. Because it was this purple as the background so I don't know, I don't know what happened here. This used to be a lot brighter. Um, oh well. Uh, this is another one that I'm pretty proud of in here. And I just was trying something a little different. Tried some color overlays and stuff with each other. And I think it turned out pretty cool. And just some more sketching. This is one of those ones where it's like I've used very minimal color. I didn't even swatch it at the top, as you can see. And here's one that I didn't even actually draw in here. So this was for uh, my Kickstarter. Um, this was... Oh, sorry about that. Um, this was my test print to see how, uh, like, if I actually wanted it to be this big. And I was very happy with how it was. And so this was the final sticker and so I didn't want to waste this and just like throw away this paper so I just pasted them both in here to show like you know I did test it to see but these turned out amazing I love them so much uh, and then this was for my birthday so uh, this is actually a few days before my birthday but I had decided what cake I was getting and so I did a quick sketch of that I thought that was pretty cute. Um, I didn't include strawberries. I forgot that they actually had strawberries on this cake, but I didn't eat them anyways, so yeah. This is another one that, like, there were issues with uh, materials, like, uh, the ink wasn't reacting well, like, the, the line ink wasn't reacting well to certain things on this paper, um, but I just, I just went with it and tried some stuff. Yeah. This was some fan art for a, uh, I guess he's a VTuber now, but he's also a 3D modeler. His name is Venji. Um, but yeah, I did this actually on my birthday. <laughs> but yeah, I really like his work and his character is really cool looking, so I wanted to draw him. And then I drew a bee. A fluffy little bee. 
I like how this one came out too. It just, uh, it makes me happy when I look at that one. Um, so this is a new pen test. Uh, this was, let me see if I actually have it here. Yeah, I do. So that's this pen. It's the Peter Draws pen, who Peter Draws is a guy here on YouTube and, uh, uh, what is it? Nor uh, Narwhal uh, did a pen collaboration with him, and let's see if I can show you this texture a little better. But it's like an ink drop, like an ink, a, a drop of ink has been dropped in like water, and that's like the texture of the uh, the outer case of the pen. It just looks really cool, and I had been wanting a Narwhal pen, so I got it. For myself for my birthday and so i tested it out with some ink i had also gotten um it's the onyx ink i love this ink it is like my favorite black ink ever uh, and i will keep getting that so and yeah i got the medium nib but uh so this was um me also just like testing things with it like uh if you know markers can go over the ink and whatnot and it's uh inker you know ink marker test and it only blurred it a little bit, so I don't like these hands. I don't like these hands at all. Like everything else about this is cute, but I don't like the hands. Eh. And then I was drawing some food. I think I did a couple food things. Uh, this was a uh, the next two, I think. Yeah, are a uh, commission like idea brainstorming thing. Um, I was commissioned to do a VTuber model for uh, my now friend, Rin. And uh, we were doing a kobold version of his panda character, and so I was trying to decide what markings to do. Um, and so I did that. And so this was the like final one that I had decided on and sent to him and was like, this is what you know I suggest. And he liked it, and we went with that. Um, this was some more brush pen stuff. Like, again, this is just messing around. Um, and then top-down acorn. I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to do... This is also when I stopped numbering them. We're getting close to the end. That's probably why. Uh, and then just a red shirt and red lips. I don't know. Uh, I believe... That was a test for two other pens that I had gotten, which are these, and they're refillable brush pens. So I wanted to see how they worked. So you can actually refill these brush pens. They're like, they're refillable like uh, fountain pens are. And uh, yeah, they work pretty good. Um, I definitely enjoy using them. It's just, I'm still getting used to it. This is also the Onyx ink still. But like you can see the weird, or not weird, but like the uh, variation in color, which is one of the reasons I love this ink. Uh, I know that's not everybody's thing, but like that's what I want for my black ink, is not to be solid black all the time. Uh, this was me testing out some more pens and just doing some marker tests. And then we've got my table layout. So... I'm doing a convention at the end of October, and so I was trying to decide what to do with mine. And this is, if you can't tell, a gridded pa like paper, so I was using it to my advantage to just like map out everything. Uh, I've got like a sneeze guard here and then areas for my stuff. I'm trying to make everything um, touchless so people aren't touching books and stuff like that. But uh, yeah. And then the last page, uh, just finished this book. That's kind of how I felt. And so this is a ballpoint pen doodle with a slapped on color backing, so I have some color on here. Yep, and that's it. And I had this in here to block the pages from getting that. Uh, this was from whenever I was using it as a planner. I had actually painted it. I had painted it. I had painted in it um, at some point, but uh, I ripped all those pages out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that flip through i know i haven't done one in a while but yeah uh i'll have the one with just music up today as well for you guys to see but thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye